Hey, welcome back. Kevin Crawl here for another segment of Tips and Techniques. For today's segment, I'm going to show you how to power stand a natural edge bowl while the lathe is running and without rounding over your wings. Now, when I first started making natural edge bowls, I kept rounding over my wings. Uh, I'd get one edge that was razor thin and the other that was the normal thickness. Now, I figured it was my cutting that was the problem. So I did a test bowl where I did absolutely no sanding. I just uh, turned it and my wings were perfectly fine. So that told me that hand sanding while the lathe was running was always rounding over my wings. So I decided to go online and figure out how others were avoiding the problem of rounding over their wings. Now, what I did find was people said you can uh, power sand your bowl, but only do it while the lathe is stationary. Even one as far as saying it is a recipe for disaster if you try to power sand while the lathe is running. Now, I want to know why. Why was it so dangerous to power sand while the lathe is running? So, my next bowl, I decided, okay, I'm going to try it. And I quickly found out that, yes, indeed, you can power sand a natural edge bowl while the lathe is running and do it safely and avoid rounding over your wings. So, let me show you how I do it. Okay, the problem with hand sanding a natural edge bowl is your wings will not be uniform. You'll get razor thin edges. And that's caused by a hit and miss situation where the sandpaper is hitting wood and then hitting air and then hitting wood again. So I'll show you that. You can see how the sandpaper is flopping. You do it on the inside too. Now that flopping motion is actually the paper going into the inside when it's uh, right in the air and rounding over your edges. So one way of remedying that is you can use a flexible sanding pad and fold it over and that will give you some support. Now the only problem with this is you'll get your circular sanding rings that are kind of hard to sand out and that's why we use the power sanding technique the circular motion eliminates the sanding rings okay to safely power sand the outside of a natural edge bowl there's really only two things you have to remember one is I know some power sanders have uh, different pad attachments you want to use the firm uh, pad and not the soft pad and the other is you always want to use on the outside use the lower two-thirds of your uh, sanding pad the only way you can get in any kind of danger is if you have the upper third trailing and it catches so as long as you use the bottom two-thirds you should be safe so I'll go ahead and show you this As you see, as you see, the pad glides across the surface. It's not going in, so you don't have to worry about rounding over the edges of your natural edge bowl either. Okay, now I'll show you how you can power sand the inside of a natural edge bowl safely. Two things you have to be very mindful of. One, you're going to be using the top third of your sanding pad. And two, you always have to watch out for your wings, the upper wings. As long as you keep those two things in mind, you can do it safely. As you notice, I have my drill angled down, so I'm going to be hitting the the top third of the sanding pad and 
while I'm sanding, I'm always looking at the drill and my top wing here. I'm not worried too much about where my sanding pad is. So let me show you. And you can safely power sand without uh, rounding over your wings. And in case you're wondering why I'm getting a lot of bouncing in here, this bowl's warping on me drastically as I'm trying to get sanded. So that's why I'm trying to do a hurry up, quick up uh, video. The bowl that I was using to demonstrate power sanding with was warping on me so bad that I wasn't able to show you this view. So what I have is the camera set up right in front of me, right in front of my face actually. And I wanted to show you exactly how I position the drill so that I never get in any sort of danger. So what I'm doing, I'm looking right here on the drill and watching this wing, the high wings on both edges to make sure I'm never in any sort of danger. The danger you're going to come into is if you hit the, the wing. So let me demonstrate that. As you can see, where I positioned the drill, I was never in any sort of danger. So, hopefully this will help you uh, produce better natural edge bowls. You'll quit rounding over your wings, get a better finish. And hopefully these uh, tips will help you out and help you with your wood turning. So, until next time, thanks again for watching.